checking in for the final time this morning with our gadget guy Mike Yanni at Central Memorial with some art students there. And I think there's a big reveal about to happen, a surprise. Well, students are buzzing here, Tara. Um, they're really excited about the opening of the art gallery here tomorrow, right? as they should be. I mean, just take a look at some of these portraits uh, here. They're just stunning. Hard to believe that students, 15, 16, 17 year olds, have been painting and drawing these. So I want to take this last time to meet some of the artists behind the creations. And I want to start with Morgan. Um, good morning, Morgan. Good morning. This, I first thought, saw this, and I thought, okay, it's, it's a sketch, but I wasn't expecting to hear what you actually sketched this with. Uh, it's with pencil crayons. I always think of, you know, children's drawing utensils, and I think of pencil crayons and crayons, but artists use them as well. Yep, yep. <laughs> and this is a portrait of one of your fellow classmates, actually. This is Jessica. Yeah, and, it was, yeah. And Jessica actually is also working on a uh, masterpiece that we're going to unveil in a moment. So that is uh, from Morgan here. It's a portrait of Jessica. Now, moving on here, I thought this was hand drawn. This apparently is watercolors. Um, Bronwyn, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. And yeah, looking at the detail on that, I didn't realize you can do such detail with watercolors. Yeah, it's basically you just have to work really, really slowly and build up the layers in like almost transparent layers. And so. How long uh, did that take? Uh, it was over the course of like two weeks, but maybe total 40 hours. Incredible. Thank you. Oh, great job, great job. And now we we're talking about glitch art. That's something that's uh, kind of new and upcoming. And I want to take you over to this corner here, uh, where Shannon is standing. And this is your piece here. This is kind of a, a take on glitch art. What is glitch art? Um, it's art that's uh, uh, split up and distorted within the computer, uh, like a TV screen would if it's fritzy or if it's kind of staticky. If you're watching YouTube and it's kind of coming yes. in funny. Yeah, exactly. So that's what glitch art is. So this is your portrait kind of take on that. And you said this kind of resembles today's youth in a sense? Yeah, and how today's media and electronics really distort the self-image of youth and their confidence with themselves. And it really shows. Very cool. So if you want to come and check, down, uh, check out the art gallery, it is at Central Memorial High. Tomorrow, 7 to 9, you can see all these firsthand, some beautiful things here. But last but not least, uh, Jessica here has been working on a portrait, a special request for the BT crew. Jessica, have you ever had a request like this before? Um, I don't think I can say I have. Probably not. Do you want to reveal it to the camera, what it is? Here we go, Jessica's work. Andrew Schultz's uh, fascination oh, with mer people. Yeah. Uh, we thought it was only appropriate that, uh, that Jessica draw something. That is, is outstanding. Whoa. Thank you, Jessica. I'm in awe. That is incredible. Andrew Schultz as a merman. Derek Zoolander, eat your heart out. Have we gone with Matthias or are we, no. are we going with oh. Flappy? Flappy. <laughs> I think I prefer Flappy. This is what Jessica was working with originally, and she did her own kind of take on that. He looks good. Uh, tomorrow